Namaste. Sari. Sari is a spectacular Indian garment that's nothing but just five or nine yards of cloth that's draped around Indian women. However, some women carry it off beautifully. They look stunning in it, irrespective of their height, weight or body type. And some get completely unnoticed. Clearly, it is a game of how you carry it. You wear saris for various occasions, from work to temple to weddings to functions. And yet it happens to be one of the most requested videos on my channel. There must be a reason, right? So how about we explore on how to pose in saris and look better than ever before. Welcome to Blush With Me. Before I talk about what to do, let's talk about what not to do when you are wearing a sari. Number one, completely avoid wearing flats. Heels help you elongate that body and makes the sari look even better. Safety pins. Do not ignore the importance of safety pins. It makes your sari look more compact and held and put together. Because when you don't have safety pins, you become conscious of your pallus and your pleats and it shows in your body language. Little makeup and jewelry helps. Don't leave it all up to the sari to make you look good. Like I said, sari by itself will do nothing to make you look good. It's all up to you and how you make it look better. Your expressions. Your expressions are a big part of posing in saris. You could have one of the most expensive and stunning looking saris. And yet, if you don't express right in pictures, it can completely ruin the look. If you look happy and comfortable, it shows on your face. So make sure your expressions are on the dot. Remember one thing. Sari by itself will do nothing to make you look good. It's all up to you on how you make it look better. Either with your expressions, with your body language, with your, with your gait, the way you carry it, with your jewelry. Everything has to be put together to create a perfect sari look. Talking about gait, number four is to suck your stomach in and your shoulders back, your back completely straight. Like always, I want you to understand the concept of posing, not just different poses. So to begin with, make sure you create that S shape with your body and that happens when you know how to pose with those pleats. The beauty of your pleats is completely hidden if you bring your right knee ahead. But see how different it looks when you have your left knee ahead because that's exactly where your pleats are falling and the beauty of pleats is more enhanced. To start with the basic pose, let's pose with your weight on your right hip. Watch these clips carefully. In the first one, all I'm doing is just moving my leg all the way from left side to the right side. The second one, I'm moving my hand from left to right to create variations. Again, moving your hips from left to right gives you a good variation in pictures. Also explore holding pallu differently. Now try putting all these tips together and tell me if you felt any short of being an actual model. I have a little secret to share with you regarding open pallus. I know sometimes women can feel their hands are completely restricted when they have their pallus open. Just pin that pallu on the left hip and see that the sari actually stays in place and it looks like you have an open pallu and yet your hands are completely to yourself. Every time there's a camera around, I try to bring the left side of my body towards the camera because that's where your pallu is, your pleats are and that's a better angle for my face too. So, all in all, the left side looks a lot better facing towards the camera. Take a look at the right side. It looks pretty flat as compared to the left side. Remember to dress as per the occasion. I have two looks here. One is your everyday office look or work look. The second one is either for functions or weddings. If you don't want to look out of place, make sure your jewelry, makeup, sari match the occasion. This was yet another subject I found absolutely no information on YouTube or internet and I understand which is why it was probably one of the most requested videos. So I'm glad that I could make this video in spite of this wedding madness going on around me that I'm super excited about. 
Depending on the occasion, use these poses wisely. If you want to add that little extra to your sari, then try out these poses. Remember, these are not some modeling poses or dramatic poses or some movie posters. These are just your basic poses that can make you look completely outstanding in those everyday poses and pictures and functions. So try them out and if there are any poses that you have tried and worked for you, please share those tips with me. I could use them in the wedding here in India. and look better than I expected to. So thank you so much for watching and remember, I'm on Instagram. It is blushwithme underscore Parmita and my other account is Parmita Katkar underscore photo factory. I'm sure you'll follow me on both my accounts and don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It is blush with me with Parmita signing off. Namaste.